You're sick of hearing scattered showers, favorable for funnel clouds, high humidity. It all changes tonight right around sunset, and that's when the rain starts to push out. It will be drier over the weekend, not as humid tomorrow, and yes, it will be hot again on Monday. When you think of July in Iowa, you think of it being sticky and warm. Right now we're at 77 degrees. The dew point has dropped just a little bit. She looks beautiful out with those fair weather cumulus clouds, and the winds are out of the east at 12, gusting right around 20 miles per hour. We did have numerous reports of those funnel clouds last night. One report so far this afternoon, but conditions are still favorable and there is a big difference from a funnel cloud versus a tornado. They typically do not reach the ground or cause any damage, but we do have all the ingredients there for that to happen. We had heavy rainfall where you're seeing the red and yellows. Some of the heaviest rainfall right here of a couple of inches. Audubon, Carroll, Bayard, Guthrie Center all reporting some heavy rainfall totals and we also had those high amounts around Iowa Falls. Today our focus for the heaviest rain was definitely in eastern Iowa, but we do have some leftover showers swirling through western Iowa, even some thunder and lightning right now right around the Corning community. Those will continue to be spinning through. I'm not seeing any big chances in Des Moines for the next couple of hours, but really after 8 p.m. is when it will be safe and you won't encounter any more rain. And when you wake up on Saturday, it will be nice and sunny and it will stay that way throughout the weekend. Our next best chance of rainfall after tonight will move across the state Monday morning and that will be fairly isolated in nature. After that, it looks hot and dry. Let's talk about those temperatures because we're close to 80 degrees, which still sounds kind of inviting, which isn't nice as these dew points in the 70s and that's continuing to make it feel warmer. And throughout the day, it felt about five to 10 degrees warmer tomorrow afternoon. This is the warmest it will feel as you head out to Ankeny Summerfest, 8035, maybe you have some baseball or softball games. It really will be picture perfect. The winds look light. Now the humidity starts to increase on Sunday and the temperature starts to go up too. Tonight, 65 for the low. Again, that rain ending by 8, 9 o'clock at the latest. And everything that I'm seeing right now is still pretty spotty in nature. And then tomorrow afternoon, 84 with nothing but sunshine. Put on the sunscreen and enjoy. On Sunday, 87. On Monday, those isolated thunderstorms early and a high of 88. Listen closely here because on Tuesday, sunny 85 on Wednesday, sunny 86 on Thursday, sunny 89 and by Friday we should be back in the 90s. My point is it's looking mainly dry next week with temperatures back in the 80s. And again, two things going away from the forecast tonight. These scattered showers. Are you sick of me talking about this and the humidity? So two good things. Yes, going away. We never get sick of you, Jerry Ann. <laughs> good. That's a good answer. Good because this is day two of you working with me, so that's really good news. Day two.